Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I have a couple of things to share with you. First is um, from an email from one of you. Um, when she was in a very trying time of her life, someone received a word from the Lord for her. But I believe that it could also help to encourage a lot of you. It's our weather's horrible. <laughs> My hair is acting up. Okay, uh, so let me read that first. <clears throat> it says, O ye of little faith, you shouldn't have worried so. My child, I love you. I will always take care of you as a loving shepherd takes care of his sheep. Do not worry what you should wear or eat. I will provide. I will never... Let me get a sip. My voice is out. <clears throat> Our weather is so damp. It's terrible. Um, anyway, do not worry what you should wear or eat. I will provide. I will never leave you or forsake you, my child. I forgive your lack of faith as I know you are human and not perfect. But stay close to me in heart, in faith, and in trust. And you will one day be perfected in heaven and reign with me forever, for eternity. Anything you have to endure here on earth will seem like nothing when you reach the heavenly shores. And we will be together. Only stand firm, persevere, never admit defeat. And know that whatever you are going through, I am with you, sharing your trials and burdens, and together we will make it through. Don't be discouraged, for in due time you will reap the benefits of your perseverance. How I long to hold you in my arms and comfort you. As a mother comforts her newborn babe, Stand firm, and I say again, stand firm, and together we will be victorious over pain, over problems and troubles. Remember, your struggles will never be in vain. I love you and have you cradled in the palms of my hands. You are safe secure and loved beyond compare my precious child my reply thank you daddy i thought that was wonderful and i just had to share it and thank you sister for sharing that with me all right now this is a video i just watched and i'm sure some of you have seen it if you watch um, the channel called Watch Woman. I have put on one of her videos before, so maybe some of you subscribed. Uh, this was put up today, February 17th. Right now it is uh, Sunday, February 17th, and it's 5.25 p.m. It's called Rapture Animal Ark. Russia nukes USA. So it's a <clears throat> visions and a word, I think, or vision, visions and a dream. But anyway, she sees the rapture. And then, um, well, let me just play a little bit. Of and I'm coming on because the Lord gave me two words and a vision and they're both very serious words and the vision is actually very encouraging um and so i want to tell you what they are and i'll give you the scripture to go along with it i did get confirmation on all this so i'm very confident that this is from the lord okay on thursday february 14th i received a vision about four o'clock in the morning um the lord showed me 
the rapture, and it was accompanied by a second event, which was an ark in the sky and the rescuing of, an, of our animals, our pets, as well as animals of the earth by angels. A second event that goes along with the rapture at the same time as the rapture. Okay? It was a gathering of animals. So it was exactly as in the days of Noah, as the Lord tells us in Luke and also in Matthew. That's confirmation to the message that Jesus gave to me about how the angels would, uh, shortly after we go, he will send an angel to pick up our pets and take them to heaven. So, and he's rescuing, she's showing an ark with regular animals, like non-domesticated as well. All right, and then the second thing that happened um, was a word, and the word uh, was very powerful, and it is about his imminent coming. And the third thing that happened was the next day it is about the imminent um, nuclear destruction of the United States. Okay? Okay, I'm going to end it there and let you just click on it and hear her tell about the, um, the imminent destruction of the United States. And uh, I'll leave it go with that because I knew that was going to happen and I just hate hearing it. But, you know, you see, it doesn't matter what President Trump is doing. It's all for naught, you know. It's all for naught. It doesn't matter. It's too late. All you can do is make sure you give your life to Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. You have to make sure you, you, have a relationship with Him. If you're not yet born again, on my homepage, click on my name. It'll take you to my homepage. Um... There, there should be an option uh, to click on that says for new visitors. Or it might just start playing that video automatically on how to be saved. Um, I just pray that anybody new who's come to my channel, and there's a couple hundred or so of you that's just joined lately, you, you... You want to know Jesus as your personal Savior. Because even if you don't make it in the rapture and you die, it'll be quick and you're going to, you'll go straight to heaven. And I'm going to say this again because there's so many new people. I almost died once. I have a problem with my heart. And when I almost died, I, I almost didn't go. But uh, I called the 911, the ambulance came, they ran a little mini EEG kind of thing. He had a little printout, and, you know, by then I was kind of feeling all right, you know. But I said, let, let me look at that, because he was almost talking, the guy that seemed to be in charge, seemed to be saying, well, you seem to be okay now, like, you know. Why should we wait? Because I was way down the highway from the hospital. I said, let me see that strip because I'm a nurse and I kind of know EEGs a little bit. And I looked at it and I said, well, I don't know a whole lot about these, but I can tell this right now something's wrong. I think I better go. Well, so they got me up on their stretcher and... I don't even remember if I had my dog then, but I think I did. And by then my neighbor had come over. Anyway, I got Buddy took care of. And they no sooner got me up into that ambulance when my heart went into SVT, super ventricular tachycardia with atrial flutter. Which they tend to say a fib because that's more common, but atrial fibrillation but anyway the point is it was so bad they couldn't get an IV in me and while they they had two or three ambulances there to get the help I mean it was crazy 
but they call for more help when something like that happens. There was two fire trucks. I, I remember seeing that on the way in because I hadn't yet gone into it. And I don't know. I, I You know, when something like that happens, you don't remember everything real good. But I remember this. The whole ceiling of that ambulance lit up. The brightest white light I ever saw. And it was Jesus meeting me at death's door. He was, or to comfort me. He knew what was going to happen. That I wasn't going to really die. But I was on that verge. The one guy to my right wanted them to take the paddle. He said, hey guys, I think she's gone. We need the paddles. We need to, you know use shocker he wanted them to shock me because they were spending too much time trying to start my IV and the one guy closest to my head there was one there one there and one over here he got it in my let's see I, I forget now I think it was on it doesn't matter it was in my neck and I got that medicine in me that stops your heart and then starts it back up again but it didn't work so they gave me a second dose, and then that light just went away. And I, the whole time, I was smiling like this, and I was talking to Jesus, and I was saying, Oh, oh, I got another number. Praise the Lord. 533. Okay, so I'm done telling you about her, and um, I was telling you about Jesus and how I knew, I knew it was Jesus. I just knew it. It was the glory of the Lord. And I was talking to him, you know, all smiles. I didn't feel anything. If my chest hurt, I didn't know it. And so, um, five, three, three. Oh, this is so awesome. When this happens, it just makes me happy. So let's see what it is. Okay. This one is, uh, to deny. All right, this is G. Now, this is the Greek. 533. Three. Deny. Use 13 times. Okay, A. To affirm that one has no acquaintance or connection with someone. To forget oneself. Lose sight of oneself and one's own interests. Oh, that's like when Jesus said, deny yourself and take up your cross and follow me. That's what that means. Okay, so under, see, I want to see if there's anything else to abstain, disown, deny. Um, Deny yourself. I know we're supposed to deny ourselves. Okay, let me try Hebrew. The Hebrew. 533. Hebrew 533. And it means strong, mighty, courageous. Strong and mighty. Courageous, mighty, strong. Uh, more fully with the addition of, it's a, a word I don't know, it's a Hebrew word. Um, all right, here's their examples. And Absalom, that was David's son trying to take over the throne, sent for Ahithophel, the Gilanite, David's counselor, from his city, even from Gilo, while he offered sacrifices. And the conspiracy was strong, for the people increased continually with Absalom. Absalom was getting people to believe he was going to be a better, he would be better for them than the father, David. Hmm. He, okay, here's Job 9, 4. That's in 2 Samuel 15, 12. In Job 9, 4, it's used like this. He is wise in heart and mighty in strength. Who hath hardened himself 
against him and hath prospered. So the word mighty is H533. Mighty in strength. Job 9.19 If I speak of strength, lo, he is strong. And if of judgment, who shall set me a time to plead? Okay, I'm not real sure on this one. Maybe y'all can help me out with this. There's more I could read. Behold, the Lord hath a mighty and strong one, which as a tempest of hail and a destroying storm, as a flood of mighty waters overflowing, shall cast down to the earth with the hand. Behold, the Lord hath a mighty and strong one, which, oh, this could be a confirmation to her word about the nukes to the USA. Behold, the Lord hath a mighty and strong one, which as a tempest of hail and a destroying storm, as a flood of mighty waters overflowing, shall cast down to the earth with the hand. That's what I'm getting. The Lord is behind it. Whoever's going to do it, he's using them. He's allowing it. Remember, when the restrainer is taken out of the way, we, those who are part of the restrainer, praying against Satan, using spiritual warfare to stop the evil of the world, okay? We have to be taken out of the way so the powers that be can do their thing and God is actually going to allow that to bring about his judgments. Do you understand that? They think they're doing it, which they are, but he's knowing for, since before he created everything that it was going to happen. And he will only allow to go off whatever he wants to go off, whether it be a bomb, a man-made storm, uh whatever, man-made disease, you know, a plague, it'll only go where he wants it to and affect whom he wants it to. And his children will be protected. So America could be destroyed where, like, the huge cities be bombed and the tsunamis come in but that doesn't mean every single human body is dead. But I would think that if it's nukes, which I do believe that nukes are involved, that's been prophesied so much. I don't think anybody who survives is going to be around for long. And let's just pray that they will know to repent fall down on their knees and repent and give their heart to the Lord that the end has come and this is it. And pray, brothers and sisters, that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man whether it's part of the bride or a guest, you want to be there. Okay, that's all I have to say about that. <coughs> wow, that's what I get out of 533. <coughs> now I X'd out of it and I didn't take note of what verse it was, but I'll find it. 
I'll put it in the description box. And if y'all come up with anything else, let me know. Like, you know, so-and-so had a dream, and they dreamed of number 533, and it, it was on a boat that threw a nuke. You know, I, how do I know who's dreaming what, you know, if I'm not seeing it? Let me know. Oh, let us all know. Put it in the comments. All right. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection and over each and every one of you. Let's stay ready, brothers and sisters. Keep asking Jesus to fill your vessel full of oil. Tell him you want all the oil you that he'll, he'll give you. All right? Like, like uh, who is it? Melissa, I think her name is. She says, so we can keep our lamps burning bright. Yeah, yeah, that's the truth. We want that power from on high to be bold, not fearful, and not be a Peter, which denied Christ when it came down to the last minute. But he wasn't filled with the Spirit yet. He had some Holy Spirit in him. He did. He had to have. He was saved. And he got baptized. But Jesus hadn't sent the Holy Spirit yet. So that's one I think we'll learn when we get to heaven. I don't really care to debate it. Okay. I'm going to say bye for now. I will talk to you later.